Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Visit IronMagLabs.com today. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. It's Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. When we talk about hot streaks in bodybuilding, we don't usually mention the name Dexter Jackson. But when a guy has won seven of his last eight contests, and the only blemish on that record is a second place Olympia finish, I'm not quite sure what else we should call it. Last weekend, the man riding one of the hottest streaks in all bodybuilding was spotted in a rare guest posing appearance seven weeks out from making his way back to the Olympia. And I think it's safe to say that the blade will be coming in in his usual razor sharp self. We've heard so much talk about Kai, and after what he's done this year, deservedly so, but let's not be so quick to forget which athlete is heading into this year's Olympia that came the closest to dethroning King Phil last season. Right now, I don't think there's anyone out there in position to predict exactly how the top three or four are going to shake out, but I'll tell you one thing, if those three or four names don't include Dexter Jackson, something is seriously wrong. This week, the official lineup was released for next week's Tampa Pro Show, and what means we're now team minus seven days, Big Russ Allen makes his IFBB Pro debut. Last year's North American Super Heavyweight winner has spent the last 12 months putting in some serious prep for the pro stage, and boy, has all that hard work ever paid off. Allen looks to be coming to the stage with at least 10 pounds of new muscle, but still seems to be rocking those classic lines with that great structure that brought him to the dance. This Tampa Pro lineup is going to be deep and feature heavy hitters from top to bottom, but if Allen stays cool and sticks to his game, his conditioning without being overly full, then he has an outside shot of finishing a top 10 place. Speaking of freaks set to make their season debut down in Tampa, one week out from sinking his teeth into the competition for the first time this season, our old friend Roman Fritz is looking as dangerous as ever. Fritz spent his entire season on a warpath, hitting the gym, looking to inflict some serious damage on anything and everything, heavy to pack on size and come back in a year or two as an entirely new man. Aside from all that new muscle, Fritz still looks to be bringing in his trademark ultra grainy 1990s-esque conditioning that first put him on the radar a few years back. With the projected lineup in Tampa now out in circulation, it's hard not to tentatively start penciling Fritz as a legitimate threat to make some noise in the first callout. A whole lot can happen in a week, so if he wants the unveiling of Roman 2.0 to go off as planned, he better cross his T's, dot his I's, otherwise he could spoil his own party quick, fast, and in a hurry. The race to the bottom of the figure division is as tight as it's ever been, but that doesn't seem to be bothering perennial title contender Camilo Rodriguez one bit. After starting off the season on a blistering pace by delivering top four finishes at both the Arnold and Arnold Australia, Rodriguez has been locked, loaded, and completely focused on coming into this year's Olympia at her all-time best. Outside of Latoria Watts, no one has been as good as Rodriguez in the figure division when the stakes are at their highest. And with a little bit of extra incentive following a bit of a disappointing fourth place finish at last year's competition, I think she's going to pull out all the stops down the final stretch and deliver her best performance yet. And that does it for another episode of Muscle in the Morning brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Visit IronMagLabs.com today. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. Keep it tuned to RxMuscle.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.